I want to turn to, to China for a second. Some of the top AI companies in the world are in China. What is your sense of how um, the United States is relative to China in terms of the talent and innovation that's going well, on in artificial intelligence? So I don't know if you all saw, but a month ago, China actually announced its AI strategy. And I actually read it. And it's pretty simple. By 2020, they will have caught up. By 2025, they will be better than us. And by 2030, they will dominate the industries of AI. Okay, now just, just to stop for a sec. That's the government said that. Uh, weren't we the ones in charge of AI dominance here in our country? Weren't we the ones that invented this stuff? Weren't we the ones that were going to go exploit the benefits of all this technology for betterment and American exceptionalism in our own arrogant view? Trust me, these Chinese people are good, right? We were in, um, in April, we brought our AlphaGo game, uh, which is a remarkable re uh, reinforcement learning activity, and brought it to uh, Shanghai, Wuzhen technically, and had a series of demonstration games against the very top Go player in the world, and we won, we won every game, and he was a, a brilliant player, and he invented new moves, we invented new moves, sort of historic if you're a Go player, and then we retired the game. The game that was played learned how to play Go in seven days from zero, right? That's how smart these systems have become and beat the top human in a game that's 2,500 years old. But to me, the more interesting thing about going there was to see that all of the top computer science people from China had shown up. And my conclusion was they are using, going to use this technology. They're going to use it for both commercial as well as military objectives um, with all sorts of implications over that period. But we know what they're doing. They have announced their strategy. Okay, so you're crazy to treat them as somehow second-class citizens. They have uh, another example. We do tests globally. There are these things called top coder uh, contests, where you have a, a coding program, literally for programmers. And uh, Asians, in, as a general statement, and Chinese in particular, tend to win many of the top spots. Right. So if you have any kind of prejudice or or concern that somehow their system and their educational system is not going to produce the kind of people that I'm talking about, you're wrong. Right? So what steps should the U.S. be taking to, to remain competitive, right? Presumably that's not where we would like to be in 2030. Well, for one thing, we don't have a national strategy that just said that. Yeah. Right? So if you believe that this is as important as, as I suspect all of us do, but certainly I believe, um, then we need to get our act together as a country. Right, so um, i give you another example. Look at the history of um, Sputnik and the highway system, right? So Sputnik, what happened was the Russians, everybody knew the Russians were going to do this, and then the Sputnik movement happened, and then NASA happens, right? Eisenhower and the uh, interstate highway system in the 50s, right? This is that moment. This is the moment where the government collectively with private industry needs to say, these technologies are important. And by the way, wh whether they really needed the interstate highway system to move all the missiles around, the country benefited by the in interstate highway system enormously, right? Just think about it, right? So whether it's, it's from a position of fear, right, um, that, or people are afraid of something, or whether it's a position of leadership, I don't really care how we get there. But I do think a national focus on investing, starting with, and so, so the specifics are pretty straightforward investing in research. Uh, America is the country that leads in these areas. There's every reason to think that we can continue that leadership. It's also how we will differentiate our businesses globally. Right? Software is the leading, um, soft, the, the leading place where software is done in the world is done in America for many reasons, including cultural and so forth. There's all sorts of reasons to do that. Uh, I'll give you another one. Let's talk about immigration. Shockingly, some of the very best people are in countries that we won't let in to America. Would you rather have them building AI somewhere else or you'd rather have them building here? I'll give you a specific example. Iran produces some of the smartest and top computer scientists in the world. I want them here, right? And I'm, to be clear, I want them working for Alphabet and Google. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very, very clear on this. It's crazy not to let these people in, right? So I can go on. <laughs>